Hey there, and welcome to Capacity Middle East Extra, powered by JSA. That's right, that's us, JSA. And we are coming at you live. We are live, Yana. Did you know this? It's about time. <laughs> yeah, all right. And we are coming at you live from the beautiful Grand Hyatt in Dubai. And I am here with my new best friend, Miss Yannick. Goldberg. Yannet is the as a managing partner at Eleven Stream. Yannet, welcome to the uh, broadcast. We're we're glad you're here. Thank you very much, Dean, for inviting me, and uh, I welcome you all next year to Capacity Middle East. This is the place to be if you want to understand the ecosystem of the telecommunication. Middle East is the hottest place at the moment, and I'm proud to be one of the influential person in this region. I love it. I love it so much. So for our viewers that don't already know, why don't you tell them a little bit about Eleven Stream? So uh, I founded uh, my own consulting company 25 years uh, ago. Uh, it was a business development uh, specialized with network infrastructure, where is my uh, core expertise. Mm -hmm. And uh, 10 years ago, Oren Nauman uh, joined me and we established Eleven Stream. Today, we consider uh, one of the leading uh, network infrastructure consultants. Uh, according to Gartner, we are actually number three in the region. And according to the news, we consider one of the most in influential uh, consulting company that understand the vision, the strategy. Not only, you know, network infrastructure uh -huh. equipment, also data centers, submarine cable, fiber. We work with uh, many, many, many companies and we are doing it with a real passion to what we know and what we love, because at the end of the day, connectivity, that's the key, that's the bridge between people. Yeah. And this is where we are. So, um, okay, so much to unpack with that. But really quickly, um, you were just named Israel's top, uh, one of Israel's top 50 most influential women in business. This yes. is a, in, in a great topic for us today because it is International Women's Day. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, tell I, me about that. So first of all, happy Women's Day to all the women that are working in this industry. I inspire you to do more, create more, and be the anchor tenant for our industry. So happy Women's Day to everybody. Uh, yes, uh, this was uh, one of the, the best recognition to my hard work along the year. Uh, you know, for me, being a woman, and especially in Middle East, it's, it's even extra tough. Yeah. And, and I'm doing what I do. Uh, and I, it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. You have to do what you do with full professional. Be aligned with the truth. Understand your business. Read, know, meet with people. And that's why you can have an impact. And you are, if you have an impact, then you influence. And if you influence as a woman, you are an inspiration to young girls, to the next generation. And this is where I'm really proud of. Well, I can tell you right now, you're one of the top 50. Right now, you're my number one. Thank you, thank you, and you are my number one. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> um, but, uh, for, but for some other reasons as well, before we started the broadcast today, you looked at me and you said, look around, this is peace. I agree. This is what peace looks like. I agree. Why don't you tell our viewers what you meant by that? So, uh, as you all know, there is a, the Abram record, the normalization agreement between Israel and the UAE and Bahrain, and and, uh, and, and other countries are coming. And actually, this agreement emphasizes what's happening now today. We are here in one ecosystem in the Middle East, where you have people from UAE, you have people from Saudi, from Bahrain, from Israel. Yeah. This is unbelievable achievement. And, and you know, as I told you, connectivity is between people. We talk, you talk, network talk. Yeah. This is where the future is going. You know, network bring investment, network bring social, uh, activity network bring the cloud. This will bring prosperity, investment. This is the future. It, Simple as this. It feels like opportunity. Exactly. It feels like opportunity and not opportunity for one part of the country or another part of the world, but for everyone. I agree. And 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 folks like you are helping make that happen. This is this is this is uh, this is where I see myself not only as a professional also as committed to the environment, committed to the community, committed to, to the Middle East, because if we make it allow then and happen, then this is actually, this is a peace. Yeah. And, and this is why I'm so excited to be here and excited to be influencing this event. And, and I think that, that uh, we are only at the beginning because uh, 
these agreements and this this ecosystem will create so much more. We will see a lot of new submarine cable coming in from Europe to uh, Asia via the Middle East in the upcoming year. We will see the cloud expansion in a couple of regions in the Middle East. And, and this is where the establishment, the prosperity of the Middle East will, will be at its best. I want you to just be in this chair for the rest of the day. If we can make that happen, that would be outstanding. Unfortunately, that is it. That's our time. I, I wish we, I feel like we could speak all afternoon. But Janet, thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Thank you, it. everybody. Happy International Women's Day. And thank you, Dean, for the opportunity. Absolutely. Thank you for being here. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in and watching this lovely interview uh, that I just had with Janet. We'll see you soon.